Hey guys, welcome to our last video in our Tech in 10 series. Thanks for joining along with us and we hope you've learned some valuable information that has made distance learning a little easier on you and your students and their parents. In today's Tech in 10, we will be talking about Google Drive and ways to use this time as we approach summer to get organized. We'll give you a few tips that you can easily carry over and you'll thank yourself next year when you return to school with a nice and organized drive. So let's get to it. Our first tip is to start with one large folder for each school year that you are teaching. My content was sixth grade math, so you can notice that I have one overarching sixth grade math folder, and then within that, I made a folder for each school year. That way I knew where the most recent version of everything was that we used, if I made a copy from one year to the next, or any new files if we changed curriculum or added different resources and RTI skills that we were doing, I would add them into that folder for that year. It just made things a lot more organized and I wasn't digging through multiple copies of the same document from year to year all in one folder. So you'll notice this is my 16, 17, 15, 16, and then 19, 20. So if I wanted to create a new folder already for next year, I could hit the new, and then folder and title that one 2021 sixth grade math. Another tip is for within those folders, picking and sticking with the same naming convention. So I taught from the springboard curriculum, which went by units. So you can notice the different unit folders. And then within those units, we had different lessons. So we made sure that each folder was titled by the lesson that it went with. You could even break these down by um, nine weeks or however your school year is split up to make that even more of an organized way of finding that content or those documents and files that you are looking for. So making a yearly folder and then using a naming convention within that for the units or the lessons that you are teaching. Another really great tip is using the color coding and starring features within Google Drive. If you right click on a folder or file, on a folder you have the ability to change the color. So if I want it to stick out a little more when I come into the sixth grade math, so I'm not having to look around if there was multiple things in here, I can make that folder red. So that visually I'm drawn to that folder, I know that that's the one I need. I like to doing that as well um, on a week to week or even unit to unit basis so that I knew, okay, right now this color is, this folder is red and this is the unit that we're currently on. When the unit was over, I would take that color off and then move to the next unit and change that color to the red folder for that week or that month or whatever it was. So changing the color is the first tip. Second tip is adding a star. So if you want to be able to not have to click through a bunch of folders, so if I don't wanna to have to go to my drive, then to sixth grade math, then to this folder, if I choose to add a star, it will favorite it much like your contacts on your cell phone. And if I go into star, my folder is right there. So anytime I go into my drive, instead of having to click through all these folders, I can immediately go here and there it is. You can also do that with individual files. It doesn't have to be a folder. So folders and files, you can favorite and find them in this list. If I'm done working with that for the year or the week or the month, I can unstar it and it removes it from this favorited list. So you've got different ways to name and organize your folders. You've got starring, adding a color to them. The next thing I wanna to talk to you about is shared with me. I oftentimes see teachers go down a rabbit hole in this part of their drive. If I'm looking for something that was from weeks ago, I might have to scroll and scroll for hours to find it. Anytime somebody shares something with you, if you know that that is a file you're gonna want to reuse later, go ahead and right click on it and then choose add to drive. If you add it to your drive, it will be there for you to access without having to dig through Shared With Me. So add anything from your Shared With Me to your drive, organize it in whatever folder you want it to go in, and then leave this alone. You don't have to come in here and delete these. Yes, you can remove them, but if you're in a Google for Education domain, you have unlimited storage. So it's okay if there's stuff in here that you're not using. 
You don't have to spend time going through and deleting these files out. Again, move what you want over and then leave this one alone. The last tip that we will leave you with is using the search feature in Drive. I can't tell you how valuable this feature is in time saving. I used to be one of those people who's like, well, I know it's in this folder, and then I'll go and I'll look for it, and I'll say, well, maybe it's in the other one, when I could just as easily come up to the type, and if I knew it was a Google Slides on integers, I could type that in and easily comb through anything tied to that. You can even use the advanced search options. So if I know that it was a Google Slides and I know I'm the owner or maybe my partner teacher um, created it, I could filter it by a specific person. So these advanced features in the search really help you save time in locating and finding files that are within your drive or shared to you. So digging through these few files is a lot easier than digging through multiple years of math that I taught or other folders within my drive. So just a few tips to get you organizing and cleaned up for the summer. We hope that you have found our tech and 10 helpful. And as always, if you need anything, please feel free to reach out to any of us.